Welcome back everyone, I'm Matthew and this is December 3rd, so let's see what Diamine has in store for us today behind door number 3. Ah, nice. This one is called Early Dusk. And again, we have a standard ink. If you've followed this channel at all in the past, you'll know that I've never found a bottle of blue ink that I didn't like. I'm going to swatch this one on four papers, I think. I'll start with my color ring, then go with plain white rhodia, then Irofol, which is a little bit warmer, and then Midori, which is ivory. Okay, this is a really beautiful medium blue. More on the green side than the purple side, I think, and not too saturated. This will probably give us some nice shading. Yes, now that this ink is dry, I just love this color. It's pretty similar across the four papers, maybe a little bit more dusty and slightly greener on the Irofol. And on the warmer Midori, it almost looks like there's a little purple tint here and there. But even though I have hundreds of bottles of blue ink, I can't think of any that really looks just like this. I thought that these inks from Pen and Message might be close, since they're both on the low saturation end of the spectrum, but Koku is a little greener, and Sage Blue is even greener than that. Diamine One More Sleep from last year's calendar is similarly desaturated, but more purple. And I thought that this Gerbon might be close, but it's not quite right either. Dominant Industry Periwinkle Blue is definitely more purple. Royal Blue is too saturated and not green enough. Tudor Blue is maybe a little closer, but still not green enough. And China Blue is also not green enough. This Sailor Sautin is closer in the light areas, but not really in the darker ones. And the same thing is true with inks like Krishna Kolkata. And this backpack ink is way too saturated. I have too many blues to go through all of them to find the best matches, but I think we're looking at a fairly unique blue here, which I'm really happy about. I did a couple of quick writing samples, also on Irofol and Midori papers, and I really like the shading that I get from this ink on Irofol. It's moderately heavy shading, but at the same time, it's nice and smooth, so it's not difficult to read. On the Midori, I had some general weirdness with my testing pen, but I got some good shading and the color looks pretty nice here too. I'm sure that a lot of you are a little tired of blue inks, but I really like this one. I think it's different enough to be interesting, too. What do you think? Well, I guess that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow with another new bottle of ink. Merry Christmas, everyone.